What is going on guys, the Game and Ram here and welcome back to BeamNG Drive and today we're here back in Tennessee and as you guys can see right here in front of us we have our second gen Ram, this is our big dually truck, uh, this is our tow rig Ram truck, uh, as you guys can see uh, this truck is absolutely a beast and repainted the truck. Um, I I couldn't do another red truck. We have way too many red trucks. Uh, so I had to repaint this truck. I, uh, it's more of like a white, but it, it's a little bit different than just white. It's like a white silver metallic, which I think looks amazing. Uh, it's very simple, but it's a tow rig at the end of the day. And that's kind of what you kind of want to go for here. Uh, I mean the beans of this truck is under the hood like look at that like you got a big old fat turbo here which uh you, you can see who made the turbo you can see it i don't know it's kind of dark uh but this truck is pushing out serious boost and making some power uh but today it's not about the second gen instead it's about uh if you guys remember back uh, we picked up a customer's car. Interesting to see if he think that I can fix it. So this is what he have right here. He has a 1969 Chevy Camaro. This is a original Chevy Camaro SS. This was a very big project because it took it takes a lot of restoration work. Uh, and due to us literally just starting up our shop, I needed some help. So I stopped by Hoons. I dropped it off. And they have been taking care of most of the build. They have the car pretty much almost complete. So we're going to head over there and we're going to take a look at it for the first time. I haven't seen the car yet. Uh, they did get the car painted. So let's go over there and I should let you guys see what we got. So I, I don't want to spoil it. I'll let you guys see the car. It's right out here. So there it is. So as you guys can see, they got the engine. They have the transmission. They got the wheels, the tires. Uh, they got the car running. They got the driver's seat installed in the car. Uh, but they did not finish the rest of the car. That's what we're going to be doing. Is we're going to be finishing up the rest of the build. Uh, since they got most of the hard stuff out of the way, uh, cause again, it, 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 it's a lot that they had to do, uh, a lot of restoration. They had to get the, the car body shell prepped for paint, which they got the car back from paint. A really nice, it's an LS3, uh, engine, but this one does come with a big cam. So it's a big cam LS3 Chevy engine and this car it chops she chops boys i'm gonna fire it up and let you guys hear it yeah listen to that chop <laughs> this car chops <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we can't run it long. We don't have a radiator in the car, but this car chops. That LS3 is just chopping. Hey, yeah, listen to that. So that 69 Camaro boys is ready to roll. We just got to finish up the rest of the car and she'll be ready to go. This is the interior view.
Yeah. So there you go. 69 Camaro is literally coming together very, very nicely. We just got to finish up the rest of the cosmetic on the car. Uh, we got to get the hood, the fenders, the bumper, the, the radiator, the radiator support. We got to finish up the interior. We got to finish up the exterior. Uh, and then once when we get all that together, we'll go and polish the paint. Uh, and basically, we'll be able to deliver the car to its owner. And he's going to be blown away because this thing has come a very long way. If you guys remember, when we first literally seen this car, uh, it was literally parked in a like garage, a shed. Um, and it sat there for over 15 years and... This thing was in really, really, really rough shape. Uh, he tried to put the car back together. He just could not do it. And so, me being the very lovely neighbor that... Okay, what was that? For me being the... the, 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 the you what? Lovely neighbor that I am. I, you know, he came to me. He was like, hey, would you help me out? If you ship it out, ship it out to Tennessee. I'll get it. For, uh, I could get the car done for you. So that's what he did, and this is how it looks now, and it, it 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 looks amazing from before to after, and it's not even complete yet. And but when we get done, he's not even gonna recognize this car. We also have another surprise here. I had shipped it down here to Hoons, and uh, if you guys remember the last video, I said that we're gonna be getting ourselves another project. We could pick anything we want. Now this one is going to be for me. So this is my personal car personal build all right so we're not really making any money off of this one but if i decided to sell it we can make some money but if you guys want to see what we got which vehicle i decided to go and pick well it's right here on the right i hate this channel no no that is right <laughs> yeah so i decided to go with the srt8 jeep <laughs> Like I said in the last video, is like, honestly, it's the one thing I have not drove at all. Like, I've never drove an SRT8 Jeep, uh, especially like an 08 to 2007. It's very unique. It's very rare. You don't see them <laughs> almost at all in today's time, in 2022, almost 2023. You don't see these Jeeps. You know, everyone has either... Uh, you see those, but you don't see, like, the OG that started the performance of Jeep, which was this SRT8 Jeep Grand Cherokee, which comes with, uh, if I can show you, I can't really show you guys. So if you take a look, there is the engine, and, uh, it does run, um, Hoons, they literally just charge the battery up, and... So far, it's been holding a charge. I'll fire it up. Listen to that. Very nice. Need that park brake. So, luckily, in the accident, the only thing really damaged is this part of the driver's side. You know, like this wheel, if you guys look at it, it's kind of, uh, it's tilting outward here. The top of the tire. So it bent some type of uh, like an upper control arm passenger tire also looks like it's kind of out of shape. Uh, it's not really s like standing up pretty much straight there. So I don't know exactly the full damage report for this Jeep. I literally just transported it here. The driver just dropped it off. Um, but the overall of the Jeep, it runs really nice. Here's the interior of the Jeep. It's just standard, you know, it's nothing too crazy. I mean, you got to give it a break. It's a 2007, 2008-ish uh, Jeep, so it's not going to be a lot here. Uh, I will go, and hopefully it doesn't fall apart, but we're going to go for a quick test drive. Got to make sure them brakes work uh, before we head out here. It's risky. We can lose... Hold on, put the, take the parking brake off. We can literally drive this on the road and it just fall apart because of that tire. But we are risk takers. We love to take risk. 
All right, let's turn around right here. She definitely gonna need brakes. Uh, and they're, they, these brakes are not cutting it, especially for something like this, which has power and that can get up to speed over 110 miles an hour. It's pulling very hard to the right. It's fighting me. I'm on the brakes, still on the brakes. So it takes almost a good, <laughs> I'll be honest with you. That was like, like 75 miles an hour. It took over five seconds to stop. It runs good. Transmission shifts. Engine has tons of power. Tons and tons of power out of that 6.2. And uh, honestly, I got no complaints so far with it. I think if we can uh, get most of this Jeep put back together, restored... Uh, it definitely going to need a fender, driver fender. It's going to need a hood, bumper, headlight. Uh, as far as this driver door, it looks like it could be salvageable. Uh, what else? Windshield's not cracked. And alignment. And that's really about it as far as the exterior underneath the undercarriage and stuff like that. I don't know exactly what's all damaged, but we'll get into that when we get into it. And uh, we're going to have some fun with this old SRT8, the OG legend of Jeeps, <laughs> the true OG SRT Jeeps. I don't know. Camaro's coming along. We got a Jeep SRT8 that we're going to be working on. The customer with that, uh, that, shoot, that was a Chevy. That the Chevy Silverado pickup truck that we had to do that whole lift kit and everything and wheels, tires, uh, mufflers, the whole everything. Uh, that truck's done. I had to realign the truck. So the truck is now running straight down the road. The tires are not leaning. Uh, so that truck, we're going to be delivering that in the next video. So stay tuned. Hopefully we put every boat back in that truck. And hopefully it doesn't fall apart. Anyway, knock on wood. Uh, anyway, guys, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe, turn that to... Oh, my God. This is the fourth time in the videos that I said turn on that toast notification. Look, we're not turning on any toast notification here at all. It's it, every time that I'm ready to say hit that post notification, I always say toast. I, I tell you what. We're going to make some merch here, boys. We're making merch. We're going to be hitting that toast notification. I'm going to find a way how to make that kind of merch. But anyway, guys, let's do Let's redo it here. <laughs> anyway, guys, I hope you guys like this video. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe, turn that post notification. I'm about to screw this one up here again. Anyway, I'm just going to. Okay, we're getting all kind of interrupted here. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys like this video. Hit that like button, subscribe, turn that post notification so you know when I post videos. And I will see you guys next time. Peace out.